Let's Play. Bit of a breather after Digital Devil Saga, this is River City Girls, a beat-em-up that was released in 2019 as a part of the Kunio-kun series. This game is a somewhat extended meta-joke and is largely a parody of the series, but more of an affectionate one and also a sincere tribute to the series as a whole. Now, I myself don't know much about the series beyond, of course, River City Ransom, which this game is more of a direct follow-up to. And it also crimps a lot of plot from a SNES game that unfortunately did not make it to America until, uh, well, well after this Let's Play is recorded, it will be released in America in 2022 under the title of River City Girls Zero. Kind of a misnomer since that game is much more about Kunio and Ricky, but whatever. It gives us a chance to experience a game we might have missed. Now, for this Let's Play, I will be playing on the hard difficulty. Uh, friendly Fire obviously does not matter when we are playing single player. Hard mode affects the game in pretty vanilla ways. Uh, it just increases the damage the enemies deal while uh, reducing the amount of damage that you deal to them in turn. And overall makes them slightly more aggressive. Not too different from playing on normal, really, but may as well go whole hog for this Let's Play. For this first part, we will be playing as Kyoko, but I will be alternating between the two characters each video, so we'll get to see both of them in action, and hopefully see what we can do with all of their moves. With that out of the way, let's get this started. Uh, on the specified I can't interval. take it anymore! Since when do they expect us to learn things in detention? Tell That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako. Killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been... kidnapped! Oh, Ricky! I'll save you! I'm coming, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! <laughs> you can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? Attention! This is your principal. Looks like we've got some troublemakers in detention. You kids know what to do. And we are thrust right into things. We're trying to get out of class, and well, the school does not take kindly to that. To that effect, they're gonna have their own students beat us up. But we're not gonna take that lying down. There's combat in this game, fairly straightforward. Pressing... whoop. Haha. <laughs> got hit there. Uh, pressing the light attack button, which on my controller is the Y button, we do a basic combo. Uh, right now it is only three hits. We can also do a heavy attack with the X button. Uh, that can also be chained off of the end of a light combo. So right there, did a heavy attack at the end, got a four hit combo there. Now, the school area, we do not actually get a chance to really uh, buy items or restore our health here. So this uh, level is never too different on hard mode. As soon as we get out of here, the enemies will be a lot more difficult. Other things we can do, uh, we can guard. If you guard with just the right timing, you will deflect the enemy with a perfect block. As you can see, that enemy is stunned. Oh, well here's another new mechanic. There's just so many in this game. Uh, she is begging for her life. Grab her, press the L button, and we have a recruit. This is just a schoolgirl. Let's see, uh, let's let her come in. Uh, if we press the L button, call her in, and she does a spin kick. Uh, as you can see, she has hearts up there, so if she gets hit during that, she will lose one of those hearts, lose all three hearts. We don't get to keep her. Let's walk up to this door and head on out. Break out of school, find our boyfriends, and beat the life out of whoever took them! Good plan! Thanks! I just came up with it! Whoa, you are like crazy smart, Misako! Alright, I was just waiting for that dialogue to kick in. Uh, as you can see, we're getting a bunch of tutorial pops up, pop ups as we play. If you play this game multiple times, you will quickly become very annoyed by these because they replay every time you play the game, even if you're playing on a New Game Plus file. Alright, so I want to get one of these enemies stunned again. Uh, just other moves we can do here. We can jump and do a jump attack, and oof, got whacked there. Uh, as the game says, we can pick up weapons. I don't like using weapons too much, but may as well show it here if I can get it. Let's just grab this trash can. Ah okay, never mind. Let's get these guys out of here. Now grab the trash can. I'm not a big fan of weapons in this game because they're very slow and they don't do very much damage, and they're also just 
really boring to fight with. So let's chuck that out of here. Trash can is not a particularly good weapon to begin with anyway. I'm hoping one of these guys gets stunned so I can explain grapple attacks, but uh, we're not getting that lucky. Well, this is good enough. You grapple an enemy, you can do light attacks on them, or you can press the heavy attack button to chuck them. Uh, that guy was so close to dead and he was begging for his life, uh, I could have taken him to show off a new uh, ally, but I decided not to. Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing pretty bad here because I'm trying to explain everything, but hopefully I do better as we go on. Tomorrow's lunch is vegetables and rice. Don't let those girls out of here. Now, something to uh, keep in mind is when enemies are knocked on the ground, we don't have any way to attack them while they're on the ground yet, but uh, if we stand behind them rather in front of them, uh, we, we won't have to worry about reprisal. Occasionally, when enemies get up, they'll launch a get-up attack, but standing behind them rather to their front, uh, you usually avoid that. Uh, this vending machine right here, we can bust it open and get a healing item. Unfortunately, that vending machine will remain broken for the rest of the game. It's kind of a dumb mechanic, honestly. Also, on very rare occasions when you defeat an enemy, they'll drop a healing item, but uh, don't count on it. It's uh, much more likely to happen in two-player mode, but we're playing single-player, so we will probably never see it. I wonder who took Kunio and Ricky. I wonder who sent us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. Tip. For what? To find out who sent us that text? Oh, yeah! It says, uh, Blocked Caller. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course it would be blocked. Oh, oh you know him? Come on. Now, uh, now that the dialogue's over, we got a level up there. Leveling up increases your stats and occasionally teaches you a new move, although it only does so in the really early game. Oof, I'm doing bad here. So, let's see if we can't get into a situation where we can show this off. Now, when you're getting comboed like that, if you prep time it just right, you can actually do a block to do a perfect guard. It's a bit tricky to do, so I don't pull it off too often. You can see that girl was running towards us. That means she's about to launch an attack when she reaches us, so be mindful when enemies uh, do that. That means they're going in on the offensive. Now, another attack that I've been doing but not mentioning is the dash attack. Just press the light attack button while running, and you do a dash attack. And ground stomp. Press the heavy attack button when standing over a downed enemy, and you can just stomp them while they're down. Now, over here, we've got a statue. Let's break that down. That is, in fact, a Sabu statue, uh, the original villain of the Kunio Kun series. Uh, there's 25 of those in the game. It is a game long side quest to break them all. If you break them, you get various rewards, chief among which is half the requirement for fighting the secret bonus boss of the game. So we'll want to do that as we go through the game. Hey now, who are these characters? Oh, look, it's those girls. Thought I smelled something. Hasabe! Mommy! Hey, Misako! Shouldn't you two be in detention or something? We broke out. OMG, seriously? I was joking. And I'm ditching my school to hang out here. Have you two seen Kunio or Ricky? Just like every day. Every night, actually. They've been kidnapped! I got a text! That must be so special for you. Sorry, girls, haven't seen them, but we'll like so let you know the second we do. Right, Mommy? Oh, for sure. Thanks. We gotta go beat up more people now. Laters. Hmm, they seem nice. Well, that aside, the breakable box here. Break that open, get a bowl of chili, I think? Well, whatever, it's a better restorative than an apple. Uh, now, we are being introduced to quite a few new characters here. Don't worry if you don't know offhand who these people are. Uh, part of this game plot actually hinges on you not knowing much about the Kunio Kun or River City series as a whole. So uh, don't worry if we come across some characters that you do not recognize. Those girls seem nice. Yeah, but they're crazy. Oh? They think they're dating Kunio and Ricky. What? They better not be! Relax. Their brains are just broken. Gonna be a lot more broken if they ever catch my Ricky! Now, we got another new enemy here. These are cheerleaders. Uh, in addition to the standard fare of enemies, th things that enemies can do, they can do a jump kick, and they can also dodge your strikes and uh, follow up with a heavy attack. We did not get to see that, because I just killed them so efficiently. <laughs> Welcome, students! Today, we're going to learn about puberty. 
puberty. But I don't know what that is. That's because you're ignorant, Tibby. Puberty stands for punching until bricks explode right towards you. Wow. Now do you understand? Not at all. Well, let's see if we can find someone to help pound the knowledge into your tiny brain. Oh, gee, is that? A bobo! Glad to meet you, Timmy! You're so huge! Oh, thanks to puberty! With enough effort, you can get as big as me! You give it a try? I guess so. <laughs> You'll have to punch harder than that, Timmy! <laughs> oh, so weak! Ah, puberty. Which way are we headed? Downstairs. Alexa through the front. Great plan. I just hope, hope Miss Susie's not here today. Oh, geez, what if she is? Are you gonna let a 300 pound security guard stand between you and Ricky? No. Well, that was an amusing little video that we watched in that room there. And, of course, there's quite a lot of dialogue to get through in the beginning of this game. Now, one thing that I'd like to point out, with the ground attack, stomp the enemy three times and that is when they'll get up, unless they die, of course. Uh, now, on hard mode, there is a chance that after you stomp the enemy once, they'll get back up immediately, so be very careful of that. Uh, quick get-ups are pretty common on this difficulty mode. Today is school spirit day. Show your school spirit by destroying those girls! Alright, so we've got another new enemy here, the delinquents with the pompadours. These guys, not too difficult, although they are much more durable than the enemies we've been fighting up to this point. Uh, these guys do have some pretty strong attacks that they can throw at you. Uh, the main thing is that they can do is they can uh, jump back and then fire a very powerful kick that smashes through your guard, so be mindful of that. Now, when I do a grapple there, I specifically hit the enemy four times and then choose to throw them, and that guy did his kick there. Uh, enemies, when you're grappling them, if you hit them with five light attacks, they'll break out. So you want to throw them at the fourth attack at that point, and you'll do a little bit more damage than you would otherwise, and you don't have to worry about them following up with the combo. We've got a new move here, the heavy aerial attack, which as you can see, knocks the enemy down. Uh, Kyoko's is not quite as good as Mi Misako's, but as you can see, you can sort of Goomba stomp the enemies and jump between them if you time it right. Now, Kyoko compared to Misako, uh, she's the more uh, flashy character. Uh, she is a bit harder to use, but her attacks do quite a bit more damage if you use them properly. Uh, Misako is a lot more, uh, I want to say defensively minded maybe, although she's not slow or anything. A lot of her attacks uh, don't have... Uh, like extended vulnerability periods or anything, and uh, she isn't as reliant on the special meter as Kyoko is, which is something we'll be getting into once we get out of the school. You may be noticing there is a vocal theme in the background. This is, well, out of universe it is sung by Megan McDuffie. Uh, in universe it's the music of the singer Noise. I wonder if we'll get a chance to meet her later in the game. <laughs> now, later in the game, uh, I am just going to be passing by all of the kind of needless fights, but at this point we really need the experience and the money, so I'm going to fight as many people as possible. Uh, probably as soon as we get out of the school. Uh, if it's not a mandatory fight, I'm just going to run past them, just to keep these videos moving at a decent pace. Now, when you grab an enemy from the behind, from behind, you cannot do a combo on them. Right now, we can only launch a light attack on them, and that does a knock, a kick that knocks them down. Not quite as good as doing the combo if we grab them from the front. I wonder if there's a stronger move we could do if we could grab them from behind. Oh well. Let's see if we can knock this girl down and recruit her. Nope. Yeah, uh, to recruit enemies, they have to be the last enemy alive on the screen, and they have to be knocked down, and when they get up, uh, there is a chance they'll start begging for their life. Let's see, before we go any further, let's bring up the pause menu to look at all the options we have, and Kunio will helpfully explain every single one to us, somewhat annoyingly. This is the map screen here. We can expand it to get a full view of the area. There are several gray rooms here, uh, which are rooms that we have not been to, but they're not rooms we can actually access yet. We'll be coming back for those later. Let's check out the other screens here. A moves list to keep track of all the moves that you have. Not, we don't have too many at this point, but we will expand our move list greatly as we go through the game. Yeah, as you can see, pretty small list right now. 
accessories. Ah, this is something I probably should have done earlier. Uh, Kyoko and Misako each start with a unique accessory. Kyoko starts with a virtual pet, which gives her recruits one extra heart. Not that helpful, but may as well equip it for now. Misako has the slightly more useful, although not great one, uh, the gym shorts, which gives her 1% of her health back for every kill she gets, so most of the time you're fighting four enemies at a time, so if you kill them all, you get 4% of your health back. It can sustain you a little bit, especially when you don't have the opportunity to heal yourself. Here is our recruits menu. This just shows us all of the different characters that we can recruit and the distinct variations on them. You may have noticed that all the different enemies that we can fight have different palettes, and they each register as a different uh, recruit under the recruits uh, screen with a super heading, so to speak. This is just our game settings. Uh, I'm not going to change any options here. And here is our item and stats menu. So this keeps track of our usable items, which we don't have any, and our statistics, which are quite low because we've just started the game. It's a good idea to peek at the screen to see how you're doing experience and how close you are to a level up because, of course, you get fully healed whenever you get you level up. And we're just back to the map screen. Ah, oh, right. I thought a dialogue was going to start there, so that's why I was being quiet, but apparently not. Uh, there is dialogue in here, I guess, just after this fight. Okay. Now, when enemies start blocking, uh, you don't actually have any guard-breaking moves, so it's fairly annoying when they do that. You just kind of have to keep up the assault and hope they drop it after a point. I should be using my assist more. As you can see, after the third stomp, she started to get up. Playing a little risky there, that cheerleader was closing in. Ugh, did that really badly. Now, yeah, as you can see, you gotta be very careful about how you time the assist, because it's very easy for them to just miss entirely if you mistime them. And, of course, uh, there's a sizable recharge time, so missing, pretty undesirable thing to do. Alright, but we've got these guys in the bag. Let's see if we can recruit this guy. Oh, nope, we got more enemies to fight. Alright. Now, something I'm gonna do here, knock that guy down, and we're just gonna do a little divide and conquer here. Chuck that guy. You students are a disgrace. Oh well, at least she'll stop them. Alright, let's see if we can recruit this guy. I have to wonder who the she, the principal, was talking about is. Alright, there we go. Just recruit him. And this guy actually has a really good assist, let's just call him in. Calls in, does that kick, comes out pretty quick, and does really good damage. So yeah, one of my preferred assists throughout the game. No sign of security. Maybe she's on break. Uh-oh. Suzu. Yeah, we don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Ha ha! You scrawny runts couldn't hurt a fly. No way. Flies are easy to hurt. As part of the school defense force, it's my job to keep idiots like you from sneaking out of class. But you don't even go to this school. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to earn extra money! Eep. Don't act like you're smarter than me. I've been in high school for seven years. Ain't nobody smarter at school stuff than Masuzu! I don't care how big or how dumb you are. We're getting out of the school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky. So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work. Oh, that's it, you little turds. Time to get flushed! And our first boss fight against Misuzu. Even though Kyoko is a little intimidated, because we're playing as her, she is forced to fight. Now Misuzu, when we knock her down, we can still wail on her a little bit, but oof, did that bad. As you can see, she uh, smashes the ground when she gets up. Let's call in our assist here. Oh. Now, when you uh, lower the boss's health enough, they move on to the next phase, and uh, as you can see, she just immediately uh, got back up, oof, trying to guide her into that pillar so that she crashed. Now at this point, uh, Misuzu gets that charge attack, and there's another thing that she can do, which we'll probably see when she gets up here. Yep, she jumps in the air, and if she comes down but doesn't hit you, she hurts her bottom. Alright, let's call on the assist. Oh, knocked her right out of the way. So, yeah, this is how the second part of the fight goes. She jumps up, comes down, and then we just wail on her for a bit. 
I'm always just gonna do a combo and then run away, because she'll usually get up right after that. Alright, let's do this. And she has a lot more health in the second phase, as you can see. Oh, she destroyed one of the pillars there. That's unfortunate if she decides to charge us, but not something I'm overly worried about. Alright. Yeah, this uh, second phase, a little boring, but not too hard. Oh, she's getting up now. Now she turns red, like all good beat-em-up bosses. And she's gonna charge for us again. But as you can see, she stopped short of the pillar. Let's just knock her down. Get out of here. Yeah, not very much healthier. She jumps up, and this time she does it three times, so you gotta be on your toes. Ah, she's trying to bait me there. Alright. Avoided that. And we got her. Weebs are tougher than you look. Give me a real workout. I'd rather give you a hug, FYI. Stay down. Don't make us fight you again. Got a real mouth on you. Must be why Kunio likes you. Have you seen Kunio? And Ricky? Yeah, but not around here. I saw them both in Crosstown yesterday, talking to someone creepy looking. Good luck finding your little boy toys. I'm surprised they'd be interested in a pair of twigs like you two. Hey, is that a compliment, or...? Boys hate scrawny little bugs. They want a woman with meat on her bones. And I got all the meat. If you find Kunio and Ricky, you tell them Masuzu says, Hi. <laughs> Ew. Come on, Kyoko. Sorry for punching you so much. Alright, after defeating Misuzu, we get a new accessory, a bunch of experience, and some money. Also, uh, you probably noticed I'm playing this on the Switch version at this point as my friend pop-ups came in there. Sorry if uh, you're somebody who finds that distracting. <laughs> but we also get a key to the school. This allows us to access all the rooms that we were not able to before. And that's actually where we're gonna end this video. As you can see, we got a new move there, just heavy attack while dashing, do a volleyball serve. But that's all for this video. Now, when you're playing as one character or the other, there is in fact leaked experience in this game, so Misako will be slowly leveling up as I play Kyoko. However, the rate is really low, and also Misako does not get any money. So the way I'm going to handle switching between the two characters in this Let's Play is I'm going to be doing two simultaneous playthroughs, and when I get to a stopping point as one character, off screen, I'll get to the same point as the other character, and resume as them in the next video. So that's how that's going to work. Uh, the accessory that we got, the makeup kit, is one of the better ones in the game. Extra 5% damage when fighting female enemies. Quite a few of those in this game, so we'll want to equip that and take full advantage of it. But for now, we're going to save and quit, and that'll be it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, goodbye.